Hello everybody, I'm Sinclair. I run for Nike Union Athletics Club and we are here at the Michael Johnson track at Nike World Headquarters in uh, Beaverton, Oregon. And it's not raining today, so we're really happy about that because we don't get a lot of those days. Hopefully the body feels good. Probably won't, but that's okay. We're in a, we're in a pretty big training block right now, so. Rarely do you feel good. Hey, what are you supposed to do about When I lived in Virginia, I lived in a dirty room in the basement and there was so many slugs. Oh, I had to kill them. She's in with bag salt. Like, <laughs> she's like, she's <laughs> Yeah, no, I did that. I put salt around every crevice. Oh, I hated that room so much. <laughs> So today we've got uh, some cleared, just some threshold work today. Uh, we're going to do about three miles over on the trail. We've got this beautiful trail over here on the Nike campus, the Hollister Trail. She'll do two loops on that, that's three miles and just about 5.30 pace, so nothing too nuts. And then she'll jog over here and it's about a quarter mile to the track. And then she'll do some more threshold work on the track. Um, and then we'll just finish it off with a little bit of speed. She'll be able to spike up a little bit. For us, it's still pretty early days, and so we're keeping working on the strength. And nobody loves tempo work like Sinclair Johnson. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, so that's what we're doing. And we actually, first day of spring, maybe? Today? What? Is it the uh, equinox? No. No, it's, just oh. like it's actually. <laughs> it's not raining. Um, we need to fact check that? It's, it's not raining, it's not freezing. So maybe we should switch it up today and actually do just speed work because it's not no. Okay. That's what we did on Tuesday. Yeah, that's that's the speed work. Now the, now the emails. Who's surprised about that? Now the emails. That's a little bit different of a story. Oh, for me? No, I, just for me. Uh, really? Is it, are they too long? I'm trying to. I try sometimes, to just do one a week. the intro is a little bit too long. I will say. I like the intros. <laughs> I'm a pigeon in a storm, baby. <laughs> still going There's on. one thing you need to know about Pete Julian. <laughs> like, no he likes his analogies. He likes it yeah, that don't make right really any sense yeah. to maybe only him. Here we are a week later talking no, about I, it. I, so I, that's what I want. I okay, it. maybe Michaela likes it too. I love the analogies. Maybe we're the reason why it's not sunny. You always sit in Last year was definitely like a big breakthrough year for me. Um, so that was really exciting and I felt like I've kind of always seen myself doing things like I did last year and um, felt very like, I guess validated that they came to fruition. And um, yeah, I think it was just a good springboard into now I'm in that area or that like conversation of being world-class and um, yeah, it's a pretty good feeling. <laughs> Obviously like the team is definitely the goal. Um, would love to defend my title, that's another goal. Um, but I think I'm going into this year with a little bit more experience under my belt, with it, which I think is really exciting, just because last year was my first World Champs and I kind of like thought I knew what to expect, but didn't really, wasn't really prepared, <laughs> I guess, to put it into simple terms um, until I like got there. So I think now going into this year, I feel like just even having that experience of last year, I'm really ready to not only like make goals for myself, but also like believe that I can achieve those goals. So yeah, I'm going for a medal. I don't really feel a sense of pressure. I think like 
There is just a lot of really good women in the 1500 in America, and it can really be anyone's day. And I don't feel like just because I won last year, people expect me to win this year. Um, I mean, I expect that of myself, but I don't feel like this external pressure to do it, which I think is good. Um, but it's also just like something where I see myself being able to do that and very capable of doing it. So it's not something like I have to do. It's like more something that I want to do. Training has been really good this year. I'm pretty excited just like with the consistency I've had. Last year, I didn't really get a fall at all because of an injury. So this year I got a full fall, built a good base and I just feel a lot stronger um, than I did last year. I'm running more miles, I'm adding in doubles. And so, yeah, just like feeling good doing it and just like seeing a lot of gains in my strength this year so i'm pretty excited to see how i can like build off of that this year oh okay. sweaty yeah it's hot it's like humid it's just humid okay i was really thinking about what hey pete yeah what is this 321 at when they were uh 321 should be at uh <laughs> want to be about so what's 63 second cold. Um, 47. 47. 47 and then uh, 30. I crossed at a 4188. How much rest? Four. You're going way too fast. But how are we both distracted? I just keep going. I think I got to stop amount of balance and just feeling like a normal person and not having to think about because I think what one one thing about professional running that I didn't really realize until I was in it is that it's a complete lifestyle so when I'm off the track or I'm not running or I'm not um, doing a workout or lifting or whatever it is like I'm still doing things that are when, I, when I'm keeping like training in mind if that makes sense um, with whether it's like you know what I eat or getting in like the amount of rest I need a day so um, I do feel like there are times in the season, especially like in the fall, where I just need to feel like I don't have that kind of mindset 24 seven. Um, but like now, which I think is important for me because now I'm ready to embrace that mindset and be like really focused all in. And yeah, when racing season comes up, championship season comes up, I'm all in all the time and pretty focused. So, um, but I think it, it, I couldn't do that without also having you know, the latter of it and being like more relaxed for a certain part of the season. Yeah, good job. Is it sunny in Philadelphia? All the time? No, it's a TV show. It's always yeah. sunny. It's always sunny. I mean, but like, is that like a real thing? coming up. Is it going to up? Oh man, you put me on the spot. Only because right now, this is just like the song that I've been playing a lot, but probably like Vegas by Doja Cat. I don't know, I just like that. <laughs> the, the beat of the song, I guess. And it just makes me feel like I'm about to go just like, I don't know, tear some shit up. 